Hey guys, what's up? So as you can see, this is the 46 boat front. Um, so I haven't made, made an update in a while. It's just I've been kind of busy um, with um, school and my new projects and my new tank that I'm coming to build. Um, just working on the stand and stuff. Um, but anyways, let's get to the corals and my equipment and all my filtration that I'm running. And I also um, got some dozing stuff that I got down, got my alkalinity stabilized, so I'll talk about that. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Um, so first off, as you can see, I got a new coral. Um, sorry about this. Freaking camera lens is dirty, so it's not going to focus well. Still won't focus. Okay. Anyways, but yeah, I got this new green um, purple rim Monty, um, which is really nice coral. I got them about two weeks ago, and you can kind of see growth right here. That's all new growth. Um, so yeah, that's really nice. Um, and he's almost starting to encrust onto the plug. Um, over here is my gigantic cleaner shrimp. Um, his tentacles, his little um, antennas are like, I would say, a little more than half a foot. I would say seven inches wide when he extends them horizontally. Um, over here is my beautiful anemone and my beautiful clownfish. Um, yeah, very healthy and fat and beautiful looking. I mean, look at that. Look how much color he has. It's just amazing. Um, over here are my star polyps. Most of the corals aren't open up all the way because um, the lights turned on about like 10 minutes ago. So not all the corals are open up all the way, but here are my star polyps and my male clown. Here's my hammerhead who's duking it out with my, um, my chalice, as you can see. They're both stinging each other over here. They're battling territories. Um, so that whole like half right here is just all bleached out. Um, I was thinking about fragging it before he gets there, which I should have done because I would have saved that piece, but now that piece is almost practically dead, so there's like no point. Um, over here, there's the other side where it's just growing enormously. I mean, if you watch my old videos, that was never even there, and it was barely even touching that rock. It's almost starting to encrust over the here. Um, it's almost starting to encrust over there, and it's already encrusting onto my top rock as you can see pretty darn amazing uh, here is my Monte Digitata not much growth at the top but I'm noticing more growth encrusting wise I'm gonna go over here on the bottom um, hopefully he starts growing from the top um, oh for some reason there's like this light film of hair algae growing on my my one rock that's the only rock in this tank except for that one that's the only rock in the tank except for this rock and that rock is the only rock in the tank that has hair algae on it um, all the other rocks don't have any hair algae um, I think it's just because I didn't clean it properly when I got rid of the hair algae um, but I'm also feeding really really heavy right now um, I'm running bio pellets and I'm kinda testing their limit um, but I honestly, that's not so much that I would mind. Um, it's really not that much at all. And I have it under control, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, let's see, what else? I got tons of coralline growing in. Um, over there. This is the biggest spot I have, um, uh, on my power head. I got some on my overflow box. Got some over here. Got some in the background. I still don't see any on the rocks, but I see them on the glass a lot. Um, I think the intense lighting of the tank is just kind of bleaching it out or something because the coralline, it grows fine in my sump, but it doesn't grow that nice in my display. Um, I don't know why it does that really don't. Um, oh, give me a second. This is about to fall. Alright, that's fine. Um, so yeah, I really don't know why it does that. Maybe you guys can help me out on that. Um, but yeah. Um, let's see, what else? 
adjust my white balance real quick. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got Coraline growing everywhere. Um, over here, I changed out this um, the foam that I used to put to a sandpipe with the cap on it. I also drilled a hole in it to put some airline in it so it doesn't create a siphon. Um, all right, let's go down here. Basically, um, I have my skimmer running, which I gotta clean out because if you don't clean it out regularly, like I would say every every month or so, you'll get turbulence in there, and the turbulence causes for less skim mate. Um, which is a pain in the ass because I got this light and it keeps like making the skimmer dirty with algae and slime, so which creates turbulence in my skimmer for some reason. And I mean, you can kind of see it, how it just tumbles everywhere. It's supposed to be a nice foam steady that goes up, which it, it does up here. It does do that up here, but it doesn't do that down there. So I don't know why it's creating so much turbulence. I gotta fix that. Um, kind of fiddle with it. Um, also, I got that purple rock from my um, Pico in here. I got my phosphate PO4 export. Um, I got my skimmer, my maxi jets, which are like the worst sounding pumps ever. My Chato. Um, over here is a syringe which I dose my alkalinity with, which is like the only thing I've been dosing lately. I haven't been dosing any calcium at all. Um, over here, you can see there's tons of coralline growth. You can see that purple dot right there. And then all the way in the back, you can see some purple. This is almost like, it acts like an algae scrubber for me. Because every time I do a water change, I scrape off that film of algae on this acrylic. And about a week later, it grows back. So I have practically a built-in algae scrubber, which works great, honestly. It, it works awesome. Um, so no need for me to go out and buy um, and pipes and make a humongous, bulky algae scrubber in here. I already got one built in. Um, so yeah, that worked out really well. Um, if you guys don't know, I bought another reactor and I'm running bio pellets. Um, I'm running about the full dosage for this tank now. I used to run half, but I stepped it about I stepped it up about two weeks ago um, haven't seen any work from it um, but I haven't been adding that bacteria that you're supposed to add to so I don't know why it's not doing any work maybe I should add that NPX bacteria that you're supposed to add um, but I'll just give it a time I don't really need it right now over here is my carbon in that reactor which I like filled up a lot because I just add a lot and just leave it for like a while too lazy to change it out every once in a while and my water clarity is always fine so I don't really mind um, over here I bought a new JBJ auto top off because my old one was putting current in the water so I just decided to get a professional made one um, so yeah that's about it for the tank for update wise um, so yeah um, everything's really doing well my zoanthids here's my chalice I added a stylo I got an A can. Um, my rose is just beautiful. I mean, it really is. That's like my pride right there. That guy, um, this guy, and hopefully, eventually, this guy will become my pride and joy. And over here, my zinnias, which like somehow a branch landed down here. Who knows? My my hammerhead or. No, I have my hammerhead, my um, candy cane, um, mushrooms, some anthids. Um, I'm starting to lean towards more SPS. I really am starting to get bored of LPS and um, softies. Um, it's like really, it's like really boring me now. I'm gonna start getting my anemone. From now on, I'm getting in my new tank. I'm just gonna have anemone, all SPS. That's it. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a really nice tank. I'm planning on getting a, a bubble magnet dozer or even, I don't know, I'm looking for a good dozer for the tank for magnesium, alkalinity, and calcium because it's going to be really heavy SPS loaded. Um, so yeah, that's that. Over here, you can see that I have the 10 gallon on that 3 gallon Pico stand. Well, I shut down the 3 gallon Pico, which is over here. Everything is dead. Um, 
Well, the rock is still alive, I would say, because it's still in the water. But you can easily use this for a cycle, so I just kept it um, for the cycle of the quarantine tank. Um, basically, it's going to be a 10 gallon quarantine tank, as you can see. I got a, 10, a dollar per gallon deal, I got this tank. Um, I originally had this stand for a 10 gallon tank way back when, when I started this tank up. I just transferred everything from 10 gallon to 46. Now I have a 10 gallon on here as quarantine. Um, but yeah, I gotta do a few modifications to this wire. It's too short, so I gotta make it a little longer so I can center the light because it looks kind of weird. So the quarantine's gonna stay in the garage. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to get a lid for it. Um, down here is gonna be all my um, electrical and all my chemicals for it. Um, so yeah, that's that. I have a little air pump over here. Somewhere in here, I don't know where it is. Um, I'm gonna use my aqua clear for filtration and for circulation I got a, a, a Corylia Pico from my 10 gallon in there. Um, over here I got a vinegar, um, a bleach bath for my filter sock. Um, so yeah, that's about it for that. Um, let's see, what else? saying um a lot um okay once again i'm dosing alkalinity um okay i'm gonna try not to say um anymore so i'm dosing alkalinity uh uh i'm using about 6.6 .6 ml every day i'm going up on the dose um to 11 so i can raise the alkalinity a little higher all right so now here is um some zooplankton which I feed. I'm trying to get some phytoplankton for the SPS in there to try to get more coral growth and stuff. Here's some essential elements that I add once in a while. I started adding this new stuff, so I haven't been adding the essential elements. I, I just picked this up about a week ago. Let's see. It's Fuel by Seachem Aqua Vitro uh, Premium line, supposedly. And it supposedly says it ignites coral growth. Now, my LFS uses it for his frag tank, and his frag tank has crazy growth in it. Um, damn it, this bottle's leaking. All right, I gotta fix that. Um, but, I mean, it has like all these um, vitamins and stuff, and it's really high in vitamin B, I think. Vitamin B, I believe, because when you put it in, it's like, it's like fluorescent. And I'm pretty sure that's because of the vitamin B. Um, not not positive on that, but I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you guys where I feed. I'm still feeding the pellets. Um, what else? I, I kind of soak them in garlic guard nowadays because I bought a yellow tang about a month ago. Damn thing had ick. So I took him out and I put him into quarantine and he died um, about two days after I bought him. So... And the reason I found out he had ick was because um, he was swimming really weird. He was scratching against rocks. So I was like, okay, this is really weird. I'll put him in quarantine. And he died about a week or, no, not a week, I should say, two days later. Two or three days later. Um, so I had him for, the guy at the fish store had him for a week. That's what I meant to say. Um, but I, I had him for two days and he had ick, so he died. Um, but the guy gave me reimbursement and I'm fine. So... No more fish in here, because I also noticed that the clowns were bullying him, so I guess that added more stress. Um, so I'm not going to add any more fish in this tank. For my new tank, I'm going to add uh, the yellow tang and all the new fish that I want first, and then I'll add these these, these bullies in there um, and my grass. So yeah, I'm planning on getting a diamondback goby um, and one... A uh, yellow tang, or even a coal tang. I really like coal tangs. Those are really cool. Um, so yeah, I might get a yellow tang, a coal tang, a diamondback goby, two clowns, and a ras. Um, I think that'll be a nice, colorful tank. Maybe two or three chromuses as well. I'm gonna really stock up the tank. It's gonna be a really nice tank. Um, so yeah, I might not get the chromuses now that I think about it. <laughs> So anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Um, subscribe if you want to keep up with my new build and my new tanks. And yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.